Okay, let's continue with the SAT practice. It says, on a map, one centimeter represents 250,000 centimeters. What is the length of a road in kilometers that measure 2.5 centimeters on the map? So what we do here basically is multiplying the centimeters on the map times the centimeters on the real scale and then we divide it by 10,000 to get kilometers. From centimeters to kilometer is 10,000 because we have millimeters, then centimeters, decimeters, we have meters, deca, decameters, hectometers, and kilometers. Okay, that's what we have. And from each to another one is multiplying by 10. Okay, so if we're here to go here, because we're going up, we divide it by 10. When we move down, we multiply it by 10. So one kilometer is 10 hectometer, 100 decameter, and 1,000 meters, okay? So but because we're here in centimeters, we're going up, we divide it by 10. So it will be 10, 100,000, 10,000, 100,000, okay? Because one kilometer has 1 million millimeters, so that will mean 100,000. Okay, let's first multiplying 2.5 times 250,000. So that would be the same as 250, 25,000 times 25, okay? Because I just move, I take off one zero from here, but I move one to the right here. So basically it's the same answer, doesn't make any change. So 25 times 25 is uh, 625, and then I add those three zeros because it's 10, 100,000, 10,000, 100,000. So I need to move one, two, three, four, five. So from here, one, two, three, four, five. That will be uh, six point, six point twenty five kilometers. Okay, six point, sorry, here I did it. 6.25 kilometer is the distance of the 2.5 centimeters on the real map in kilometers, okay? That's basically the answer. Okay, let's take a look at number seven. It says that a right triangle has a perimeter of 12 and sides A, A minus three and A minus C. What is the area of the triangle? So we have a triangle here that the perimeter is 12. That means the sum of all those sides is equal to 12. So A plus A minus 3 plus A minus 6, that's equal to 12. So 3 and 6, it's uh, 9 plus 12, 21. That will be equal 3A. So A is equal 7. That means that the sides are... Uh, one is seven, the other one is seven minus three, it's four, and the other one is seven minus six, it's one, okay? So, then, the problem with these uh, questions here is that we do not have, uh, we don't know if it's a right triangle or not. And according to the measures, is not a right triangle. Because if it's a right triangle, we should be able to apply Pythagorean theorem, and the sum of the square of those two will be the sum of the, that will be the square of this one, and, and, and it's not. So in this case, this problem cannot be made. Maybe that has the option of none of the above is the answer, or something like that. But in this case, we find that A is equal seven, but uh, you cannot find the area because this is not a right triangle, okay? So let's move to the next one. Maybe the answer is none of the above or something like that. Okay, let's do this one. Um, sorry. Okay, uh, palindrome, I think that's the right way to pronounce, I'm not sure. It's a number which reads the same backwards and forwards. For example, 313. If you read backward, it's 313 too. So what is the next greatest palindrome after 3,443? So here, four 
3,444 is that number, but it's kind of too high. So the next one, the right next one is 3553. Okay, I think that's the closest number. So here's the answer. I think there is not too much to do. Remember, there will be a very easy questions in the SAT. And there will be some that are not so easy, but the idea here is to work as fast as possible. So I think that as much you practice, as faster you become, okay? I hope this video helped you a little bit if you feel that you like it and you learn something. Send it to any of your friends and thank you so much. Have a wonderful day.